Today is National Love Your Pet Day, and uh, we love pets here at WCCO. Azure Davis with Rough Start Rescue is joining us on the floor with some adorable dogs that are up for adoption. I'm holding Kiba. Kiba, <laughs> yes. And you're holding... This is Annabelle. And we got a little one running around here. I know some of these uh, pups are family members. Adoption is always something that's been important. You know, people giving a pet a forever home freeing them, if you will. Why, why is adoption important if you're trying to find yourself a pet? Yeah, there are so many reasons, but I would suppose you could start with the biggest one and just overpopulation. Um, all of these little guys that you see here, they're available, they're looking for their forever homes, um, who they would not have had a chance otherwise. Uh, there's just so many animals that need homes yeah. um, throughout Minnesota, through you know, the United States. Um, so we're constantly rescuing them, just bringing them into the rescue. We have foster homes all over. So that's another important part of just the rescue in itself is fostering. So if you can't adopt one of these guys, you could still foster them and try it out that way. I was gonna say, when it comes to fostering, you're almost like you're you're raising the pup them yourself. So there is a, an added level of responsibility, but there's a time limit on it to an extent. There is. So if it's if you're not really sure if you know adopting is right for you yet, and you're not sure about the commitment, fostering is a great way to start. Uh, with these little guys, I mean, normally they would get adopted pretty quick. Right now, just no doubt. across the United States, things have slowed down for pet adoption, um, just animal ownership in general. So, uh, you know, anywhere from two weeks to six months, we can't always tell what the timeline would be. But typically, cute little puppies do get adopted right away. So if you're not sure on the commitment, fostering is a great way to start to see if a pet is ready. If you're ready for a pet in your home, and mm -hmm. the, the responsibility of them as well. You said you, you always have a lot of dogs. How many do you guys have right now? We do. Right now in the rescue between dogs, cats, and then we have critters too in the rescue. There's about 200, a little over 200 available. 200? Yeah, and that's just available. We have another 200 that are coming in, going out, getting adopted. So at any time in the rescue, there's about 400 animals. How should someone look, research, am I prepared to have a pet in my house? I mean, they're going to see these dogs in air. I might just want to take this one home right now, but how do you make sure you're ready for that commitment? Yeah, you know, if it's something you're interested in, especially if you're interested in learning more about a certain breed or a size of a dog or just the energy level, um, we actually have some matchmaking that we do in the rescue, so you can look on the website, you could fill out an application, we can get in contact with you. Um, the perk about fostering is these guys are in foster homes, so if you're wondering, you know, is this the right pet for me? that foster can answer your questions. They know a lot about these dogs already. Are they potty trained? Are mm -hmm. they crate trained? Um, and so that's just one of the, the perks of being a foster-based rescue. But then sometimes if you're fostering, you end up being a failed foster. What's the phrase for yeah, it? Yeah, foster failure. Foster failure, because who wouldn't want to own these? The temperament of these dogs is incredible. Sometimes we have dogs on set, they're all over the place. They just want to be held. Which one's oh, Amelia? We got to so give a special calm. shout out. Amelia. Right down there. Are you taking Amelia home? Maybe so Amelia might. She was taking pictures earlier. <laughs> well, all these dogs, 200 total pets that you can take home. You'll all find out all that information on Rough Start Rescue, which we have that information on WCCO.com. I'm going to send it back to Aaron in the studio. Maybe I'll bring this little one with me.